Gerald Ross here, and this is part two of my beginning swing ukulele lessons. Uh, in part one that I put out a couple months ago, we learned how to transform the basic chord progression C, A minor, D minor, G7 into more swingy chords, uh, closed position chords, sounding like this. That's just a little bit of review. Uh, if you want to learn those chords, go back to lesson number one and uh, review that. Now, in this lesson, what we're going to do is we are going to work on the bridge of the song. The bridge of the song, if you were to use your plain open string chords, would have these chords. It would have E7, to A, to D7, to G7. Now watch what happens when we play the closed position chords with those open string chords. It just doesn't work. I'll show you right now. This is the first part of the song. because we have closed position chords in the first part and open in the second. They really don't work that well together. What we're going to do is we're going to play this for the bridge. Watch this. Here's the first part. Now here comes the bridge. Back to the first part. Much nicer sounds, much more appropriate for the uh, jazzy, swingy sound. Now we're going to transform those open string chords that are on the bridge to more closed position, jazzier sounding chords. The first chord on the bridge is that E7, that open string E7. It doesn't work, it doesn't work for blues or jazz or swing. Yeah, it works for blues. But uh, what we're going to do is we're going to lay our index finger across the seventh fret take our middle finger and put it on the third string eighth fret. Now remember when I number my strings, string number one is towards the floor, string number four is towards the ceiling. We're getting this kind of sound. You could either play it like that with the bar chord or you could use your fingertips. I like using my fingertips as opposed to the bar chord because it makes getting into the next chord a little bit easier. But if a bar chord works for you, do it. So there is your E7 bar chord at the seventh fret. The second chord we're gonna do is an A ninth chord to substitute for this plain, plain vanilla A, A chord. Here's what the A ninth chord sounds like. The way you play that chord is you take your ring finger and put it on the seventh fret, strings one, two, three, and put your index finger on the four string six, giving this sound. That's our A ninth chord. We need a substitute next for the D seven chord. There's your open string D seven. Here's what we're gonna do for our D seven substitution. We're gonna lay our finger across the fifth fret, five, and we are going to uh, put our middle finger on the four string sixth fret. Hmm, what do you notice there? The D7 chord is just like the E7 chord, except move down two frets. Here's that E7 chord at the beginning of the bridge. Same shape, but now it turns into a D7 chord. Now we need a substitute for the G7 that's in the bridge. What can we do? Well, we had that A9 chord at the beginning of the bridge. If we take that same shape of the A9 chord, and move it down two frets, there's a G ninth chord. There's our bridge. E7, A9, D7, G9. Now you can slide into it like this. slides 
as a spice. You don't want to do it all the time. It's nice every so often. So uh, use a little bit of taste when you do it. Uh, uh, so you can slide into those chords. So the thing that makes that bridge very nice to the ear is that it follows a nice musical line. If you were to play the open string chords on the bridge, it would sound like this. There's really not a, a cohesive musical line going, but if you were to play the bridge using the chords I just taught you, it sounds like this. sounds so nice to the ear is that it follows a logical musical line. If you were just to isolate the fourth string of those chords, it would sound like this. Here it is with the chords. So it's a nice descending line. Here's the entire song played through with all closed position chords. The closed position chords from lesson number one and the closed position chords that we learned in this lesson. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.